Hello fellow murderers, today is Wednesday, July 31st, 2024, and it's a great day to solve a murder. Today we have the complicated case of the murdered little old lady, and we have three 3x3 three three grids with suspects, locations, and weapons. I read, oh wait, no we don't have a red murder clue today, it's Wednesday, so we have statements, three statements, one for each of our suspects, and we know that two of these must be true and one of them must be a lie. Whomever is lying is our murderer today, and that's how we'll crack the case. All right, so let's meet today's suspects. We have Baron Maroon, Brother Brownstone, and Vicon Eminence. The weapons today are a wine bottle, an antique flintlock, and a string of prayer beads. And finally, our locations today are the graveyard, the choir loft, and the front steps. All right, let's check out our clues and evidence. The second tallest suspect was clearly flirting with the person who had an antique flintlock. Okay, so this is a bit of a different relationship clue than the ones we've seen in the past, but this is still a relationship clue nonetheless. So that can tell us that whomever is our second tallest suspect did not have the antique flintlock. So let's see our suspects. We have 6'2", 5'4", and 5'2". So second tallest is going to be Brother Brownstone. So that tells us that Brother Brownstone did not have the antique flintlock, so we can mark that in there and cross this off. Baron Maroon had a weapon made of glass. So I think that's probably going to be the wine bottle, but let's look for the others. Yes, the wine bottle is the only one with glass in its composition. So that tells us that Vicon Eminence must have had the antique flintlock, and Brother Brownstone must have had the prayer beads. That's it for our clues and evidence, but we do have everything all filled out for suspects and weapons, although we don't know where anything or anyone was yet, so we'll have to find location information from the statements. All right, so let's check out our statements. A string of prayer beads was in the graveyard. Could be true, could be false. Uh, a wine bottle was on the front steps. Okay, so I would put Baron Maroon on the front steps with the wine bottle. Oh, and then here we go, Baron Maroon was in the graveyard. So these two cannot both be true. And these two also can't be true. Uh, it can't be that the beads were in the graveyard and Baron Maroon was in the graveyard. So, I think it actually might be Vicon Eminence who's lying. Let's just quickly test this. So a string of prayer beads was in the graveyard. So I mean Brother Brownstone was in the graveyard. And that would put Baron Maroon on the front steps. And yes, that will work. Or wait, that, that will work if this is the lie. Because that would say Baron Maroon was not in the graveyard and was instead on the front steps. So this one works with this being the lie. Let's think through this one now. Um, yeah, front steps. I think that's it. I think it's Vicon Eminence. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Vicon Eminence with an antique flintlock. And then let's see if the prayer beads are in the graveyard with Brother Brownstone. And a wine bottle's on the front steps. I will put Vicon Eminence in the choir loft. Okay, so we have Vicon Eminence with an antique flintlock in the choir loft. I'll go ahead and flip these over. And before we go ahead and see if we're right, I'm just going to walk through this real quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and save this so we can kind of revert to our existing uh, setup here. But let's go ahead. I'm going to actually just take out all of our information here. So we can kind of have a blank slate and we can kind of test these other ones. So let's try making Bear Maroon's statement false. So that would mean a string of prayer beads was not in the graveyard. So that would mean Brother Brownstone was not in the graveyard. Um, and then we have a wine bottle on the front steps. And if this one's the lie, then these two must both be true. That won't work because the wine bottle is with Bear Maroon and uh, Bear Maroon can't be simultaneously in the graveyard and on the front steps. So we know that this one must be true. So the string of prayer, prayer beads was in the graveyard. I'm gonna go ahead and reset again here. Um, so let's try to make this one the lie now and then these two would have to both be true. Um, but they can't be, right? Because we can see this right away. If this and this both need to be true, a string of prayer beads and Baron Maroon can't both be in the graveyard because the string of prayer beads is with a different suspect, Brother Brownstone. So that leaves only Vicon Eminence as the offending uh, statement here because we cannot compel one of these others to be false. So I'm just going to take an extra moment and fill out the rest of the grid here, just copying the answers over essentially from these two grids here. So here's everything all filled out. And again, we have Vicon Eminence with an antique flintlock in the choir loft. Let's go ahead and see if we were right.
All right, we were right. Thanks so much for playing along with me today. I hope this was a helpful walkthrough and we'll see you tomorrow.